Hi everyone, Dr. Patricia Porter again with the last of the videos about kids and playing video games. Video games to excess. Everybody, every child plays video games sometimes and it can develop good skills in children, but you don't want it to video games to take over their lives and to take time away from the kind of schoolwork that they have to do. So in this video, I'm going to look at some of the reasons and some of the solutions, some of the ways that you can help your child. Now, if your child is playing video games because of peer pressure, if you've discovered that he's trying to keep up with his friends, all his friends are doing this, he wants to keep the score up, he doesn't want to let the side down, then you have to start talking about peer pressure, what it is. Children may not be aware of what peer pressure is. Help your child understand that he doesn't have to succumb all the time to peer pressure and that his friends will still be his friends even though he doesn't do exactly what they expect him to do. Peer pressure is difficult. It's difficult for kids to handle, it's difficult for parents to explain, but it's very important that they understand. Even if they still succumb to peer pressure, they need to be aware that that's what's happening, that that's what they are doing. So do talk to your children about peer pressure if that's the reason and it could very well be part of the reason why they are playing video games to excess. But what about boredom? If boredom is a reason your child is playing video games, well this reflects back on you. This is when you have to actually do something. If your child is bored, there are two ways to handle this. Being bored is okay. It's a little bit uncomfortable. Children have to understand that it's a little bit uncomfortable. You can talk about that, but it's necessary to be bored because it actually gives a brain the time to process the thoughts that are in it. So boredom is okay. It's not something to be run away from. It's something to be handled and to be thought about. And that's a little bit uncomfortable, especially for younger children maybe. And um, older children may have ways of handling boredom more easily. And the second thing you have to do is offer them an alternative to being bored. Find them something exciting that they would like to do, preferably with you. This is where you have to spend time with your child in getting to know them, playing board games, going out, playing soccer, introducing your child to an activity which they're going to enjoy. And chances are, that activity is going to include you in some way. Uh, teenagers may be a bit more difficult because they have their own lives, they want to do their own thing, they may want to do, they may not want to do so much with you. Um, but then you talk to them about the fact of being bored, it's okay to be bored. It gives your brain a chance to work. Talked about peer pressure, talked about boredom. Success. Video games give constant success to children, even when they're failing, they're constant success, constant ways of keeping them engaged and then moving them on. This is difficult for you to achieve, but you can try by breaking down the activities that your child is doing, the homework activities or the activities around the house, the chores that they're doing, and giving them success, giving them brownie points. Some of you may know about my brownie points um, every few minutes um, so that they keep getting constant success. And it's praise. You can always find something to praise your child, some tiny thing. But keep praising your child, keep giving them this success, honest success, uh, and that will help them um, equate the work they have to do with the successes they get on video games. And then we come to avoidance. What is your child trying to avoid? Talk to your child about this. Find out why he or she is avoiding something. Is it too hard? Is it too easy? Is it boring? Is it, I don't know. Find out why your child is avoiding something. Are they avoiding people? Are they avoiding social relationships? Are they avoiding helping getting dinner? Find out what your child is trying to avoid and explain the necessity of not avoiding it and explain ways of making that task much more enjoyable and much more doable. Um, if they're avoiding homework, 
is the homework too hard? Go and talk to the teacher. Find ways of making homework more enjoyable. It can, <laughs> it can happen, it can work. And what's the other reason? Um, avoidance, peer pressure, boredom, addiction, success, entertainment. Uh, yeah, avoidance, when they're avoiding something, give them a deal, make a deal with them. 10 minutes doing something they're avoiding doing, 10 minutes playing video games. 10 minutes doing something they're avoiding doing, 10 minutes video games. Intertwe in, intertwine the two. Discuss these, the, these deals with your kids and see if you can make them work. But always, always explain to your child why you are worried about him or her playing video games. It's the length of time, it's the avoidance, it's the not having social interaction, it's the not getting their schoolwork done, it's their um, whatever worries you about that. Okay? Talk to your child about it so they know. Don't talk to them in a preachy way. Don't say, I'm right and you're wrong. Do it in a negotiating way, a dialogue way. You're finding out information about your child so that you can help him or her handle the reason that they're playing video games. The reason may not be bad why they're playing video games, but they may need help handling it. So I hope I've given you some ideas. Um, please don't worry too much about video games for your children unless it feels like it's getting to become an addiction then you really have to do something about it.